Let's write a C program to check if the user entered number is a strong number or not. Well, strong number means sum of factorial of a number's individual digits should be equal to the number itself. Such a number is called strong number. For example, if the user enters a number 145, we should check the factorial of each individual digits and add it. So if it's equal to the original number, then it's a strong number. So the factorial of 1 plus factorial of 4 plus factorial of 5 should be 145. So factorial of 1 is 1, factorial of 4 is 24 and factorial of 5 is 120. And the addition of all these three numbers is 145. So which is equal to the user entered number. So 145 is a strong number. Okay, let's program it using C language. Before going any further, please check two other video tutorials we have published previously, link to which is present on your computer screen right now. So if you go through these two video tutorials, it will be very easy to follow up this, this tutorial. So let's get started with our C program. I'll take a couple of variables, number, a temporary variable, reminder, and count for while loop, and fact to calculate factorial, and sum to add all the factorial sum of all the factorials. So I'll ask the user to enter a number and store it inside the address of variable num. I'll copy the address of, sorry, I'll copy the value present in num, that is user entered value to a temporary variable because we will be operating on this variable num and through the course of this execution of this program, value of num will be changed. So we want the original user entered number which will be stored in variable temp. So while num, until num is equal to zero, this while loop keeps iterating. So reminder is equal to num modulo division 10, which gives last digit of the number. If the user entered number is 145, it fetches five. So num is equal to num divided by 10 gives 14. So while loop keeps iterating until num is zero. So in between, I'll write another while loop. So this is an example for nested while loop too. So until count is less than or equal to the number, that is the last digit or the digit fetched from the user entered number. Let me assign count value as one and fact value to one two. Okay, because each time this inner while loop executes, we calculate the factorial of individual digits of the number. So fact is equal to previous value of fact into the value of count. And we will increment the value of count here. So outside the inner while loop, we will print factorial of individual digits as and uh, when we calculate it. So factorial of, we calculate the factorial of reminder that is the individual digits being fetch, fetched. So factorial is present inside variable fact. So next thing is we add it. So sum is equal to, we have the variable sum here. So sum is equal to the previous value of sum plus fact because for each iteration of outer while loop fact value and count value changes so we add it before iterating there iterating the outer while loop so we have an error here i forgot to enclose these things in double quotes okay everything looks fine so let me add the final bit of code here that is at at the end of this outer while loop, once num is zero, it exits the outer while loop. So here I check if the user entered number, which is present in temp, is equal to the sum, sum of factorials of individual digits of the user entered number. If that's true, if that's true, then percentage D is a strong number. If not, that is inside the else block percentage D is not a strong number. We already know that 145 is a strong number. So let's give that number itself to check our program. So factorial individual factorials are given 120 plus 24 plus one is 145. So it's a strong number. So let's check a number which is not a strong number 140 maybe. So 24, 25, 26, it's not a strong number, okay? 
So please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes, explanation and discussion about this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.